Uh, here we have a Shimano Di2 battery pack SM dash Bravo Tango Romeo 2. Uh, so it's a lithium ion battery pack for pretty much most of your Di2 systems um, that are on the, out there just now. The issue that I had with this one is that it would charge um, and then it would work okay uh, and then probably after overnight or whatever it just wouldn't hold charge. Um, so it's back down to zero again. So uh, you could sometimes go out a ride on it and uh, get halfway through the ride and it would just pack in. So looking at them online and the price of them is quite expensive. So what I did is um, I've stripped it down, had a look online, had a look at bits and bobs. Um, and the ba the batteries inside, uh, you can buy them. Yeah, they're available online and um, you can buy them. So I managed to get these batteries online. Um, the battery number 14430. Uh, the reason it's uh, 14430 is the size of it here is 430 mil. Um, a normal AA battery, they're coming in at 650 mil. So just watch that if you're going to try and buy replacement ones of these. They are they are, they are smaller than your normal AA battery. They come with soldering tabs on them as well. And with two of these, they run parallel to each other. So we've got one sitting here and one sitting there. And that gives you your two... Um, Two batteries to give your voltage to match this. These are three point. These are three point seven uh, volts each, and your battery pack on your uh, Di2 is uh, seven point four volts. So obviously, two three point sevens uh, make seven point four. Uh, perfect. Now this is giving you five hundred milliamp hours. Um, so basically, uh, that's the kind of capacity of the battery. Um, these ones that are coming now are 650 milliamp so you're getting longer out of these uh, these ones um, than you are out of your standard uh, Shimano ones that come with that which is good as well that's going to give you a, a bit more life out of your uh, system um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this one down and uh, basically replace it with the new batteries test the batteries make sure they work I've already done the testing um, but I'll run through the process with you just so that uh, you, you can do it yourself uh, rather than spending a fortune on a, a brand new DI2 battery. Um, so all I've really got here um, for doing this, uh, just a, an electrical screwdriver. This is just for opening up the, the battery pack. Um, I've got a multimeter here just for testing the batteries. You don't need to have one of these uh, unless you want to make 100% sure that your batteries are dead. Uh, and I've got a soldering iron, um, just a bog standard soldering iron, uh, because the batteries themselves are soldered to the unit. So you, you'll see um, at the end of the battery there, there's a little solder section where this uh, yellow strip, your connection strip, attaches onto. And all you need to do is basically take your soldering iron and just heat this bit of solder up and then your little tab will just pop off there. Um, and then you can pull that to the side. There is a, a, another section in the middle here that you need to do that with and that, then your, your bottom battery will basically pop off and then there's another uh, top section at the top there. And as soon as you put your, a bit of heat onto these, your solder will just come away um, and you'll be able to remove the batteries from the actual unit. Now, when you take these batteries out, that leaves your that leaves your whole strip, your whole casing like that. Just keep that nice and intact. And you've got, as I say, you've got three soldering points, one there, one there, and one there. When your batteries come out of the actual unit, they have a connection piece in between them, uh, which has again it has a a little foam pad, same pad as we took off the bottom there. So if you can just see that there's there's metal on one side, metal on the other. Now this is, uh, it's, it's like a heat stamped onto each side of the battery. Um, so I, I tried heating it up uh, to remove it, but that didn't work. So what I did, um, when the two batteries were basically um, stuck together, like so, what I did is I went, I went around the back edge with a Stanley knife and I just pushed down uh, in the little gap and it just popped it away. Um, from that side and it popped it away there. There's only a little, it looks like there's only little four little little dots that have held that pressed in together. 
that then basically removed both the batteries from each other so we've not got a lot of parts here um so before i went any further um i wanted to just check and see what was happening and make, making sure that we were um the batteries were dead and it wasn't anything to do with the cpu in there um so these the easy way to test the battery um this one i've got it on dc DC 20 volts um, and you basically just positive and negative and we're looking for uh, 3.7 volts for each battery um, 1.68 we've got with this one bear in mind I charged this um, pretty much before I took everything off the bike and then we have the other one this one here, we've got 3.52. So in theory, it's, it's not quite 3.7, but this one's potentially not as bad. Uh, this one's uh, the bad apple. When we take the the new battery, I've got a couple of connection covers here. So when I take my new battery and do the same, there we go, 4.43. So good one, jobs are good one. So all we need to do now um, is basically rebuild these two batteries back, the new the new batteries, put them in the uh, casing and we're away. Okay, so as we just joined joined the two tabs together. So I'll just make sure I can get the rest of it all together and then I'll cut those those little tabs off. It's looking pretty good actually. Quite happy with that. I'm just going to put another little bit of solder on top of this. And that will give us a little bit of a little bit of traction for the a little bit of solder that I'm going to put on here.
it's hard for me to try and show you this with the uh, the camera is so fiddly so you can see just in there I've managed to connect that top bit there and then I need to join I need to join the little tab here onto the bits in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these down out the road then out. I don't want to cut them away um, at the moment. I want to join everything together and then I'll cut them away. That's the bolt, that's the middle one joined. Now we just need to join this bottom one. So there we go, there's the, the last bit soldered on. So in theory, now we should, so, now that we've got these put back together, we should have something that more resembles the voltage that this requires. So when we put all right, positive and negative. So what have we got now? 8.66, 8 8.87, there we go, cracking. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna trim these little bits off. In fact, I might not even bother. Yeah, I will. I'll just, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna trim these little bits off, tidy it up and then put it back together and we can get it tested. So what we need to do, just need to put these little foam pads back in. So I don't think these are, these are not really, these are more of a gap filler, to be honest. They don't serve any purpose other than to fill the gap at the top and the bottom of the, of the end case. So all we need to do now is just seat the little foam pad back in there and then we've got another foam pad to go in the bottom here and then we can put this back in the unit so that's the foam pads foam pads back on the unit and now it's just a case of lining up the Reference points. There we go. One DI2 battery refurbished for a total of £13.99. Apologies for the lighting in here. The lighting is not the greatest, so this is the unit clipped back in. I'll just leave that hanging there just now. Okay, okay, now the moment of truth. That's us plugged in. And the 
There we go. Beautiful. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helped you and saved you a bit of cash. If you enjoyed that video or it helped you out, click the link, like button. We subscribe would be good as well. Uh, and I'll be doing more videos. Thanks again.